I think one of the biggest issues the aftermarket is facing is, is, is trying to be able to distinguish between good quality parts and parts that uh, may not have the quality that our technicians need to service our customers. Um, there's a lot of product coming from all over the world. Uh, some of that's good, some of that's not good. And uh, the, the technician has a very difficult time separating what is good and what isn't. And, and I think as a manufacturer, uh, we need to make sure that uh, we offer product that is that's good for the industry, and we believe that we do. Uh, I think that uh, getting that word out to the to the to the uh, technician base is is what the real challenge is we have for our entire industry. I think the way to really do that is 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 uh, continue with our brand strategy. I think if a technician uh, goes to a to a name brand, whether it's uh, Daco, which is ours, or Federal Mogul, or Gates, our competition, they can assure themselves that they're going to get a good quality product. If they go to a private brand, uh, not necessarily a hundred percent guarantee that it's going to be a good product. So I think that's a big, big challenge. Uh, a lot of pressure on the industry right now for. Uh, with margin pressures and, and there has to be, and, and a lot of people f try to find a lower, lower cost product in order to overcome that, but sometimes that means lower quality too. And then that creates ripples all the way up and down the channel. So I think brand strategies are very important and, and having good quality brands out there that the technician can count on will help us all.